Alright, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashil, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakaq, Kudash. Double honor to my elders and apostles, Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole elect of Israel, man. You know, today I want to get into, you know, the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. Which Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And uh, Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Son, man. Who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, you know. So I'm gonna back up the brother, uh, the elder Kazak out there in Mississippi on his uh lesson he did, I believe, a couple of years ago. And he's gonna be doing also the talking. I'm uh, in, a, in between the video, I'm, I'm gonna end up stopping the video and pulling out precepts to back up uh the brother on his on his uh lesson he did. The correct pronunciation. Is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. And this is the the, the Sha character, which looks like a W. Okay. And uh, it usually has a, a I on the end, an A. But but the A would uh would be silent. So it's just y Yahweh Shai. Shai. Okay. And this is the Assyrian Hebrew. Okay. But when you're reading the Tanakh, this is something that you have to look out for. Okay. Because the name isn't Yahweh Shawai, it's Yahweh Shai. Okay? But to go a little further, alright, starting with the Father's name, the, the one you call God, his name is Yahweh. Okay? Now, as you can see here, that the Hebrew character for, for Yah is this right here. Okay? Which looks like a, like a Z. With a line in it, that's the Yah character, okay. And you you have the the, the Ha, all right. It's, it's right over here. That's that's the Ha, and and the Wa, which looks like a Y. That's that's right over here. And you have you have the the Ha again, but the A will be silent, okay. But it's that same character, okay? So it's Yahweh, okay? Which Yah, Yah means he, and Hawa, Hawa, which means to be, is, or exists, and that's what Yahweh means. That that's what the Father name name means, man. All right? Is is not. God all and powerful is, is, is he not everything he's everything he's everywhere okay you know as a matter of fact when you read in uh, Job yeah, let me stop it right there and give out this uh, quick precept who have a, this is Proverbs, th Proverbs 30 and 4 who hath ascended up into heaven or descended who hath gathered the wind in his fist who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell, yeah, man. Hey, yeah. How about some house? I put that scripture in, in uh, there for a reason, man. He knew his names would discontinue from being in the earth. The Lord did say we was gonna lose our heritage. And I'm the main the main thing we lost out of, out of our heritage was the names of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. So he knew that, that that in the latter days they would call the the Father and the Son by different names, which is today God and Jesus Christ, man. That's not the names of the heavenly Father and the Son. If that was the if that was their names, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai would have been back in the earth already. Dumbasses, y'all know how long Christianity been around? 34 and 14, it says, uh, it says if, if the Lord set, set his heart upon man, if, if he set his heart upon man, and if he gathered unto him his spirit, all flesh will perish together. You know? The, the reason why it says that, because all spirits come from the Lord, man. Everything comes from the Lord. So if the Lord says if he if he's gonna gather his spirit, 
everything's going to go because everything comes from the Most High, man. And then it says in Jeremiah, the, uh, I want to say the 25th chapter, uh, can, can anyone hide himself from the Lord that he, he cannot find him? Uh, do not I feel heaven and earth say of the Lord? So the Lord, he's everywhere, man. He's everywhere. He's everything. And, and that's what his name means. Yahweh. He, he, he to be. He to be. He is. He exists. Okay? As a matter of fact, you had, uh, you, you had the one saying, called to be or not to be. That, that is the question. You know, you, you had uh, the, the play by uh, Shakespeare. Okay? To be or not to be. So, to be means uh, to exist. Okay? So, that, that's what the Lord name means, man. All right? So, that's, that's the Father's name. And anytime you see the word Lord in all caps, you see the word Lord in all caps, that's, that's where the, the Father name is. That's where Yahweh is when you, read, when you read in the Bible. And they, they call it uh, it's Strong's uh, 3068. You know, and it's going to be in all caps. That word for Lord that's supposed to be right there is Yahweh. Okay? And you can also read that when you read in, uh, in the Assyrian, man. Okay? But the way it will be in the Assyrian, okay, this is how it will look in the Assyrian. Okay? Because you, you have uh, the Assyrian characters here. This is the Yah. That's, that's that right there. The Ha is right here. That's that's the Wa. And you have the, the Ha again, but the A will be silent. So it's Yah, Ha, Wa. Yahweh, which means He to be. He to be, He is, or He exists. Okay? And now uh, we're going to read a scripture in the Torah, and you're going to see where the father name is okay you're gonna see what the father name is and you know like we said man all throughout the bible you're gonna see the lord's name okay now we don't have it have uh, the all caps here but when you're reading in a king james bible it's gonna have it in all caps but uh for example here you got the word lord right here this is numbers 11 and 31 you have the word Lord. So, this is uh, 31. Okay, and as you can see, it's in, this is the uh, the Paleo. This is the Paleo Hebrew. And it says for 31, so it will start over here. And when you read in Hebrew, it's from right to left. Okay, so now we're trying to find uh, the, the Lord's name. Okay, and it's right here. Yahweh. Yahweh. All right. So, so, so that's the uh, the name in place for uh, for Lord Yahweh, which is the name of the Lord. Okay, the name of the Father. Okay. I'm gonna stop right there and get these uh, two more precepts for the, for the brother man, and for the edification sake of, of the names of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shot, man. And without those names, hey, you're not gonna receive salvation, man. Because only, uh, only the elect will have these names and praise these names in that day, man. Neither, this is Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there any, ne neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men. Whereby we must be saved. Yeah, hey, who is that? We must be saved. Hey, man, that's the elect of Israel. Because through two thirds, they're gonna die either way. They're not gonna believe on the, on the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. They're gonna believe in, the God, in God and Jesus Christ until they die. And that's fine with the Lord, man. Because He's not looking for them. I'm gonna get this last one and I'm gonna start back the video. This is Romans 10 and 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And also dealing with the one you call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? His name is Yahweh Shai. And uh and like we said, 
uh, the, the one you call Jesus Christ and Joshua, they have the same name. And we're going to get it in, in the scriptures, okay? In the Torah. All right? Now, as you can see here, we, we, have, we have the Yah, okay? Look, looking back over here, this is the Yah. Ha, right there. The Wa. Sha, which looks, looks like a, a W. It's right here. But like we said, the A will be silent. And you have the I, which is like a circle. It actually represents the eyeball. Okay? The I. So, Ya, Ha, Wa, Shai. And we have a connector here. Okay? Actually, we, we had the connector for the Father's name too. Alright? Yahweh. You, you put a connector in, bet in between the Wa and the Ha. Okay? Which actually, and that's how you would silence the uh, the A by connecting these two. All right. So Yahweh Shai, Yah means he. Hawa Shai, Ha Ha Shai means to to deliver, he delivers, saves, or salvation. So it means he delivers, he saves, or he is salvation. That's what Yahweh Shai name means. As a matter of fact, when you read in uh, Matthew 1 and 21, it says, And she shall bring forth a son and call his name, it says Jesus, but really it's Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall save his people from their sins. And, and, and that's what the name means. Okay? That's what the name means. And you can read the scripture yourself. All right? You can read it for yourself. Now, we have Yahweh Shai. Now, when you're reading the Torah, this is the Torah, okay? Hatawara, the, the, the Torah, okay? We're in the book of Numbers, okay? Numbers, chapter 11. Now, we want to find uh, Joshua or Yahweh Shai because that's really how you say that name. Numbers 11 and 28. So, this is 28, okay? And we will start right here, okay? And it's right here. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Okay? So we're not making this up, man. All right? That, that's the name of the Lord, man. Okay? And it's the same It's the same name we have here. Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yahweh Shai. You see? That's, that's what that name means, man. It, mean, it means he, he saves, he delivers, he is salvation. That's how you say the name. That's how you say the name, but he is salvation, he delivers. That's what the name means, okay? And a lot of times you you hear us say uh, Baha Shum because Yahweh Shai is the mediator, okay? He's the mediator between us and the Father, Yahweh. We can't get straight to Yahweh, man. So Yahweh Shai... He, he's that door. He's our mediator. We have to go through him. So that's why we would say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Bahashem. Bah. Okay, this this Hebrew character it means in. Ha means the. Shum, which we have the connector here, means a uh, name. So, Baha Shum, and I, I read in the Torah, they actually connect these two. And uh, in, in, in some sentences, you, you, it will just be Hashem. But the point is, it means in the name. So, Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shai, which means he, he, he to be in the name of He delivers, He saves, or, or He is salvation. Okay, which those those are what their names mean. Okay, so Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the Father, in the name of uh, the Son. Okay, so I, I hope this was edifying. You know, um, I mean, basically it, that was it was brief. It was to the point. It was to the point, and I hope brothers were able to learn from it. Okay, because um. That's how we're going to be saved, man. Okay, and another thing before I leave out, 
Once again, when you're reading the uh, the Tanakh, okay, this this is what it's gonna say for in the book of Joshua, man. When you're reading the book of Joshua, it's still Yahweh Shai, okay. When you're reading the Tanakh, buy you a Tanakh, and this is what it's gonna say, man, okay. And, it, and this is how you pronounce those Hebrew characters: Yah, Ha, Wa, Shai. You have the connector, so it'll make the uh, the I silent at the end of the Sha. So Yahweh Shai, which means he, Yah, He, Yahweh Shai delivers, saves, or salvation. Okay, so that's it, man. That's it to the point. This this was a brief explanation of of the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. I hope this is edifying. And to you, sincere brothers, I like to say shalom. Let me get this last scripture. I made it off for myself, man. You know, more importantly for you, how about you? Me, how was shot, man? This, uh, this is going into uh, this preset right here is going into the elect, man. And then that, and that, in, in the day of trouble, who are we gonna call on? We are gonna call on you? How about you? Me, how was shot, man? To save, save us out of those troubling times, man. This is Zechariah thirteen and nine. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call up, call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people. And they shall and they shall say, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is my power. Amen. And with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakak with Dash. Double honors to my elders on Pulse and Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole collective Israel, man. And salutations to you, brothers, pushing this truth with sincerity, man. Shalom.